And if you could only hear all the conversations that happened right before the camera came on. Hi, everybody. Dave Temple here with yeah. Dense Ply Serona World News with a, a gaggle of look, good-looking guys who have really... We've been having such a blast at this convention, haven't we? Oh, great, I great. Mean, talking about ultimate... There's a reason they call it the ultimate dental meeting, right? Because they do it big. I mean, who, who brings in Imagine Dragons for us to just basically sit there, enjoy, you know, yell, scream, lose your voice? I mean... It's all amazing. Dude, every year you lose every your year. voice. <laughs> I yell a lot for the concert. When I see the guys out there, I'm like, ah! Yeah. Yeah, see, I, I did yeah. it better last night, though. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> what other highlights and, have you guys Will enjoyed? Smith was amazing. Oh, yeah. Uh, hearing his life story, how he started out. I mean, I all the all the stuff that he did to get where he's at yeah. is truly amazing. Yeah. So, Casey, what, what was your one of your highlights? Yeah, you know, I think the highlight for me is I've really had a chance to walk around and look at a lot of the breakout rooms. And they're full. I mean, standing room only. People are sitting in the floors, just loving the education piece. And that's, to, to me as a technician, yeah. seeing people, even clinicians, learn about the lab phase is just, it's fantastic. It's amazing. I mean, the, the rooms are three quarters full with clinicians. Yeah. And, and we're talking lab. And it's yeah. exciting. You know, Isn't it's, that great? It's really, it's great. It's and great Step, piece. how about you? What are you jazzed about? Oh, you know what? It was my first time playing crabs yesterday. I never played crabs before. Oh yeah? Yeah, so I started with thirty dollars. Yeah. Next thing I know it, I'm walking up walking out the table with eleven hundred in my hand. <laughs> so beginner's luck right there. Wow. <laughs> wow. Let's start with you, Step. Let's sure. talk. What are your favorite things besides making money at the crabs table about Seltra? <laughs> um be before I get to that I lost all that money. Last okay. Night. <laughs> right after dinner. <laughs> and some more. <laughs> but things I love about Seltra is that it's advanced third generation lithium desilicate. Right. Uh, lithium desilicate has a huge portion of market in our industry. We can't go away from it right now, but Celtra has shown up as in an advanced form. And we could, we could also make a lot more um, profit out of it because instead of milling one unit per, per blocks, we could press up to, i say, somewhere between six to even eight units, depending on the size and the thinness of it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's very cost effective, fits great, great material. It's all about efficiency, and I know, Frank, you love talking about workflow and efficiency. <laughs> I do, I do. I mean, for, for so many years, ever since I got into InLab, I always, you know, I thought to myself, okay, you know, I'm going to change my workflow, I'm going to get rid of pressing, and I'm just going to go straight milling. You know, one of the things that was very interesting was, that a couple years later, I all of a sudden had to start thinking about pressing because they came out with a material that was very easy to, t to teach somebody. You know, in the past, we would have to sit there and start measuring you know, with other uh, materials, you know, the angles, this, that. If not, you would have like a mispress. What I noticed in our, my laboratory was that now I can just set up my, my ring but, you know, just my sprues. Sometimes every once in a while, I drink a lot of coffee, so, you know, mm -hmm. I'm like this, <laughs> trying to put the stuff on there. Yeah, and it's a lot more yeah, forgiving. <laughs> yeah, it is Very so forgiving. forgiving. Once you put it on there, it just flows. I mean, you don't have reaction layers that you would have to, so our process just gets sped up because of this. So the thing that I did was I added this now back into my laboratory where I have a five-day turnaround time, so the cases that need to be there, let's say, later, I just press them, and then I mill if they need to be there faster. So, so we, let's go from workflow to, John, you're in sales, and what, what are your customers looking for? My customers actually love the fact that it's a smaller particle size. Yeah. So they can take one sprue instead of three sprues, and they can sprue it horizontally, and they can press it, and it has the viscosity of almost like water. So you're going to get a super sharp margin, it's going to have that flow that you're looking for, and you're, when you cut off the sprue, you're cutting off one sprue and not three sprues. So that's a huge advantage for the laboratories, not to, miss, not to mention what they love is the opalescence, they love the fluorescence, and they love the fact that it hides in the mouth. It has a chameleon effect to where it just disappears in the mouth because the, the light refracts around the crown, and it's absolutely a beautiful restoration. It's super strong, it's super beautiful, and it's super efficient on how you're gonna make this crown. It was so funny, when he came to my lab, so John's my rep, so I've known him for years, and he, he comes to my lab and he shows me a sprue of a bridge, 
and the sprue's coming over sideways like this, right? And when the sprue came like that, I, I looked at him and I said, Yep. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> well, thank you. There you go. <laughs> so the sprue comes over like this, and it's a three-unit bridge. I looked at him and I said, "Come on, man. You know, like that's not that's not real." So well, the first thing I did once he left, I tried it, and it worked. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. The flow just came across the side into a three-unit bridge. You couldn't do that with any other material. It's the wow effect. It um, is. Once they see it, they don't believe it. But once they see it, and we're doing more demos now, yeah. they're shocked. And uh, all of a sudden, they're, they're, you know, what is this again? It also has zirconia in it. So it's a ZLS. It has added strength. So again, very important when you're doing a three in a bridge or a restoration that requires that, strength is very important. So it's stronger than the competitors. It's more beautiful than competitors. And when you actually press the crown out, it's faster. And that, and that comes to the education. I was going to say, let's you talk know, science. Frank, Frankie's out there with a couple of other advocates and ambassadors. <laughs> And you know, and and Frankie can attest to this. You show them, it's it's all it's it's all in the show. Just show them how it works. Um, and I say it all the time. Just try it. Yeah. You can sit here and listen to me all day talk about it. The the beauty of the smaller crystal sizes, the the workflow, the added savings, but to actually see the flowability of the material, the smaller crystals aid in the actual polishability of the material and the strength that you get with the material. Um, you just have to try it. It's, it's, it's the wow factor. It's the wow factor. You know, I love this. This is one of the best panels ever because you got lab guys, you got sales, you got education, you got science, and you get you get to see the whole spectrum of Seltzer, right? All the good, bad, and the ugly, and and be able to describe the thing. What I'd like to know is, you know, I, while I was getting ready to ask why would a lab want to use it, and now with this explanation, you've taken away my last question. But <laughs> what? Um, and, and this is always the question that comes to my mind, and it's always the toughest. Frank, you've heard me ask this before. What do you think is next? What could possibly come next? How can they top this? Wow, this, oh, is, yeah. be, that's, this is a hard one. Uh, we, we need to print the material. Well, there you go. <laughs> that, might, that might be next. Um, Printable with him. The competitor, yeah, exactly. competitor's yeah. been out for about 10 years, and so this is a huge advancement uh, on new materials. And so it just has a lot of added advantage over the old one. I always say this is a, a, a great thing to talk about. 10 years ago, we all had Nokias and Motorolas, right? Right. Today we have i8s. Right. That's what we have with this, with Seltzer. We have an i8 phone. We don't have the Motorolas. So, gotcha. Uh, I'd like to say being on a lot of the uh, education side and being also on the R&D side, I, I can tell you this. Everything is moving forward um, as the new and exciting fixed products come out, new and exciting removable products are coming out. And to say what's next, it only gets better, it's only going to get stronger, and it's only going to get more aesthetic. Perfect. So, are we ever going to see a lithium desilicate puck anytime soon? Sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that's something that's, that I'm... It's only going to get better, it's only going to get stronger, yeah. and it's only going to get <laughs> better looking. And you, so. never, and you never know. And you never it know. It can happen. Better, Never know. safer, faster, dental right. care for the world. Yep. And cheaper. Yeah, sounds like a commercial. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for your time. Really oh, enjoyed thank it. You. Appreciate it. All right. Look how much you can learn every single day. Dent Splicer, Rona World News returns in just a brief moment. Don't go anywhere.